Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. As always, we're firing on all cylinders down here at the office. I can't say enough how grateful I am to be working with some of the most talented, creative, and enthusiastic lawyers in this province, not only on the Fight the Fines files, but also on the important constitutional challenges and civil matters concerning the rights of all Albertans in relation to government overreach and overzealous enforcement of ever-changing and arbitrary lockdown restrictions. This is the most important fight in the country right now and we're grateful to have also the support of so many people out there. We are waving a banner of freedom in the interest of democracy and the rule of law in a world where often these banners are torn down by overwhelming opposition. There is light in the darkness and this battle is worth pursuing uh, to the end. Friends, I've got an important update to bring you on the case of the Whistle Stop Cafe and the rebellious owner of the Whistle Stop Cafe, Chris Scott. Now, for those of you who have been following along with this saga from the very beginning, and friends, this is months ongoing. Chris Scott is the owner of the Whistle Stop Cafe in small town Mirror, Alberta, population just a little above 500 people. Now, way back in January, Scott decided enough is enough, and he opened his restaurant in defiance of the lockdown restrictions on dine-in service. Now, not only did his community come out to support him, people flooded in from all over the province to support him at his tiny little gas station slash convenience store slash restaurant and adjacent campground for his bold stance against the government. But... The government immediately cracked down on Chris Scott. They sent inspectors and police nearly daily. Chris Scott was issued summons upon summons. And then he was nearly locked up for contempt of court. But he was able to grab the government and drag it, kicking and screaming, into reopening restaurants again. But then along came a third lockdown. Restaurants were closed once again. But... The whistle stop did not close. More summonses came. And eventually, one morning, the government chained the doors shut on the whistle stop, cutting off the little community of Mirror from its only gas station. Once again, the community continued to rally around Chris Scott. So the government took a new track. Alberta Health Services, in secret, went to court in Calgary without informing Chris Scott or his lawyer, Chad Williamson. And... AHS received an emergency restraining order against Chris Scott as the owner of the Whistle Stop and Glenn Carrot of United We Roll and unnamed Jane and John Doe's, so that's everybody else, preventing all of us in Alberta from exercising our charter right to protest the government. You see, the order limited participation in or organization of or promotion of illegal public gatherings, which at the time meant outdoor gatherings of more than five people and gatherings of less than five that did not conform with masking or social distancing protocols. Because it was a court order, if Chris breached it, he would be going to jail for contempt. But because Albertans have a charter right to protest, Chris held a 1,500-person strong protest at his chained-up restaurant, and that very night, the government came and took him to jail for three days. Now, during this whole process, I know it's long and crazy, Rebel News has been helping Chris through our civil liberties initiative, fightthefines.com. We've been covering all of his legal fees with the help and support of viewers like you at home by putting Chris together with Chad Williamson from Williamson Law. He's an incredible civil liberties litigation specialist, and we're doing it all at no cost to Chris Scott. Now, Chad is still fighting that court order that restrains Chris from practicing his charter right to peaceful assembly. Oh, hi, friends. Thanks for tuning in. And sorry for interrupting, but I have some very important news to bring you. On June 1st, YouTube is once again changing its terms of service, which means they have yet another opportunity to come and kill us, to deplatform us from YouTube altogether. When that happens, and I'm sure it will, we want to be able to stay in touch with you. Please go to rebelnews.com. There's a little pop-up there. It's going to ask you for a little bit of information, uh, your phone number or your email address. We need that so that we can tell you 
where we went when YouTube gets rid of us altogether and we promise we won't sell your information. We're not Facebook. Anyway, that's rebelnews.com. Leave us some information so that we can stay in touch. And back to the video. Chad Williamson is going to examine Chief Medical Officer of Health Dina Hinshaw on the affidavit she signed off on that justified a court order that saw a businessman and two pastors stuffed into jail for days on end for the crime, in Chris's case, of not allowing himself to go bankrupt. Here's Chad with an update to the legal proceedings. A couple of big uh, updates on the whistle stop matter involving Chris Scott and Glenn Carrot. We're in the process of reviewing uh, options in relation to the procedural ruling, which effectively prohibited us from making uh, any submissions or our application at all to set aside the omnibus Alberta Health Services order that has been the hot topic around the province uh, over the past couple of weeks. While the court ruled that the entire matter relating to the order would be heard at a full hearing in due course after all materials and evidence uh, had been filed, we still take the position uh, that our procedural application to set aside the order for the manner by which Alberta Health Services obtained the order in breach of procedural fairness needs to be heard prior to the hearing that is going to inevitably occur somewhere down the road. We're looking into the law in that area uh, and of course we take the position that uh, justice, uh, uh, justice delayed is just this denied. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, if we have some remedies available there to have that uh, heard. We're also in the process of scheduling cross-examinations on the Alberta Health Service affiants that swore affidavits in support of the overarching Alberta Health Services application. And there's obviously much work that needs to be done there. And obviously we're looking forward to testing the evidence given by Dr. Hinshaw in support of the overarching application. Now we're moving forward full uh, full bore on that front. And additionally, a hearing is also scheduled next week in the contempt proceedings against Chris Scott. And these are in relation uh, to the overarching order as well. And of course, we'll be fiercely defending him at that hearing as well. As always, we're firing on all cylinders down here at the office. I can't say enough how grateful I am to be working with some of the most talented, creative, and enthusiastic lawyers in this province, not only only on the fight the fines files, but also on the important constitutional challenges and civil matters concerning the rights of all Albertans in relation to government overreach and overzealous enforcement of ever-changing and arbitrary lockdown restrictions. This is the most important fight in the country right now, and we're grateful to have also the support of so many people out there. We are waving a banner of freedom in the interests of democracy and the rule of law in a world where often these banners are torn down by overwhelming opposition. There is light in the darkness and this battle is worth pursuing uh, to the end. Now Chad and his entire legal team are working so hard to help Chris, but by extension they're helping the entire business community. We want to make sure the government answers for what they've done to Chris Scott. We want them to be forced to explain themselves and hopefully by fighting back, we can all make sure this never ever happens again. The next time there's some sort of emergency where the government sees an opportunity to seize your freedom away from you. And we wanna thank you for all of your support so far. We couldn't have done any of this without you. If you'd like to help us help Chris Scott and Chad Williamson fight the full force of the government and all of their endless lawyers in court, please donate today at fightthefines.com and all of your donations now qualify for a charitable tax receipt through the registered Canadian charity, the Democracy Fund. That's a civil liberties charity that works to advance and defend the rights of all Canadians. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. If you'd like to help us help Chris Scott as he takes on the government of Alberta with its limitless resources, please donate today at fightthefines.com. It should not be illegal in Alberta to be an entrepreneur. And all of your donations now at fightthefines.com qualify for a charitable tax receipt through the registered Canadian charity, The Democracy Fund.